To have even just one game so unbelievable happen in your career would be incredibly special. Never mind two, and in the same season. But 1976 was an incredible year for the Leafs' new captain, Daryl Sittler. The really big night happened on February 7th, a Saturday night at Maple Leaf Gardens against the Boston Bruins. It was a day and a night that didn't exactly start in spectacular fashion for Sittler. He missed his usual pregame meal in the afternoon and instead was forced to pick up a takeout chicken dinner he ate on the fly in his car. Then his ride to the game showed up late. Sittler was already equally annoyed and inspired. Team owner Harold Ballard had chirped in the media a day earlier that he wished he had a center good enough to play with wingers Lanny McDonald and Errol Thompson. Oddly enough, the line with Sittler at center had produced a couple of goals the previous game, but coach Red Kelly was worried he had too much firepower on just one line and was considering breaking them up. Good thing he didn't. Sittler started off with a couple of assists in the first period, but caught fire in the second, scoring three goals and adding two more assists to give him seven points. Between periods, he was told he was one point off the NHL record set by Rocket Richard in 1944 and matched by Bert Olmsted 10 years later. Just 44 seconds into the third, Sittler scored his fourth goal to tie the record and midway through the period scored again to break it. He would add a sixth goal and a 10th point late in the 11-4 win against the beleaguered Bruins and goalie Dave Reese, who would never play another NHL game. Sittler would also go on to finish the season with 100 points the first Leaf ever to do that. As incredible as that night was, a few months later, Sittler had another in the playoffs against the Philadelphia Flyers. After being energized by Kelly's pyramid power, Sittler, who hadn't scored a goal in eight previous games, tied a playoff record with five goals and an assist. That night, Sittler wore the same suit and tie, on purpose, he had worn for the 10-point game.